Myers going on the outside. Knocked in by Steen very neatly as well. And it wouldn't quite come down. Spencer's there! Oh, Chelsea have opened the scoring. And John Spencer, who started the first match of the season, was pulled off injured. He's only been back a couple of times since as a substitute. Glenn Hoddle put him on tonight in a whole catalogue of changes after the disappointment of the defeat at Everton, and he's popped in the first goal. Watson tight in on Kari, and Asinton knocks it in. Mark Wright does it again, despite the bodies on the goal line. And Chelsea are protesting to referee Robbie Hart that there'd been an earlier infringement, and I'm not sure if the replay wouldn't support them. It looks as though Watson pulled the player down with him then when they both jumped for that initial ball. Mark Bright, who drilled it through the crowded six-yard box. Spencer down to Craig Burley. That's intended for Steen. Gets the header down to Peacock. Chelsea have scored. Gavin Peacock. And in the end, it looked quite easy. Six minutes into the first period of extra time. Drilled in by Craig Burley. What an intelligent ball back of the forehead of Mark Steen. It gave Gavin Peacock all the time and the space that he needed. Over the head of Barnard has found Steen. Who finds Gavin Peacock, who gets it into the middle to Burley. Chelsea have done it. Craig Burley with one of those lung-bursting runs through the middle. And in the second period of extra time, what a joy that will be to the coaching and the management.